Are you one to believe that happiness is something external, something to chase after? Well, if you do, you're not alone. Many still see it this way, believing it will come with achievements like a promotion, a higher wage, or a perfect family. But the mindset is wrong, very wrong. And in this video, we're gonna tell you exactly how and why that is. Would you choose to be happy? Let us tell you about Dan Jansen, an amazing speed skater who went through many Olympic letdowns until 1994. Despite past setbacks, he tackled his last race with a new attitude. Instead of worrying about losing again, Jansen concentrated on being thankful for his first skating adventure. Racing with a big smile, he not only won the 1,000-meter sprint, but also set a world record. Changing his mindset from disappointment to gratitude turned out to be the secret to his best ever performance. Many successful people think they need to be unhappy to stay motivated. They believe being content will make them lazy. Funny how that's literally the opposite of what research shows. It actually ends up boosting confidence, creativity, and adaptability. On the flip side, negativity triggers survival mode, hindering creative thinking and motivation. Dan Jansen succeeded because he found happiness within, not just through winning. All in all, you can choose to be happy now by appreciating your life as it is. Define your own success. Ever found yourself feeling a twinge of envy while scrolling through your friends' vacation pics on Instagram? Well, guess what? Platforms like Facebook and Instagram are pulling the strings to make you do just that. Their entire point is to constantly make you compare yourself stirring up that FOMO. These platforms want you to believe your life doesn't quite measure up to the ideal, a classic case of being put in the gap. But what's interesting is that they're doing it so you'll be tempted to buy stuff to bridge that gap. Social media is basically messing with your mind to turn you into a more eager shopper. Doesn't it make you think? Comparing yourself to others is a dead-end street. But let's be real, no purchase, no matter how pricey, you can truly fill that void. Think about it. When you were in school, nobody really asked you about your values or how you define success, right? It was more about standardized tests and winning soccer games. Well, now that you're an adult, you have the chance to set your own standards. Take a moment to figure out what truly matters to you. Create a list of 10 things that make you feel successful. And remember, it's all about your personal perspective. Does success for you mean spending quality time with family or having the freedom to travel whenever you fancy? Your list should be as unique as you are. When a new opportunity comes knocking, just check if it aligns with your list. If not, no matter how tempting, it's not the right fit for you. Embracing the bright side. Believe it or not, your mindset can influence not only your mental well-being, but also your physical health and how long you live. Consider this interesting study. 84 women working as hotel room cleaners were divided into two groups. One group was informed that their cleaning tasks were beneficial exercise for their health, while the other group wasn't told anything. After four weeks, the group receiving the positive message experienced weight loss and reduced blood pressure, unlike the control group. Now, when you constantly see your life in a negative light, living in the gap, it does more than mess with your mind. It affects your body. You end up stressed, angry, and anxious for a long time, and it takes a toll. But here's the good part. There's another way to live, and that's in the gain. It's about giving yourself credit for what you've achieved and finding value in every experience. This positive mindset not only makes you happier, but also keeps you healthier. Just switch to the gain, get your friends on board to call it negative thinking. Practice recognizing your achievements and learning from tough situations. With time, living in the gain will become second nature, replacing those old habits of dwelling in the gap. A look in the past. Meet Rosie, a young girl with a brain disorder, whose doctor said she wouldn't learn new skills, but her physical therapist proved them wrong. In just a year, Rosie mastered walking on uneven surfaces, and the therapist made sure to keep notes and update Rosie's parents regularly, celebrating every achievement consciously to stay motivated. The lesson behind this? We often tend to forget our achievements once they become part of our routine. Which is why keeping detailed progress notes like journaling helps us appreciate and remember the remarkable journey we've been on. Lots of people wrongly compare their progress to an imaginary future, setting themselves up for letdowns. 
but the key here is to measure how far you've come by looking at the past. Picture where you were 10 years ago, what you did, what mattered to you and what you accomplished. Make a detailed list, not just about stuff or status, but also how your thinking evolved. Repeat the exercise for the last three years and the past 90 days. And this reflective practice boosts confidence, motivation, and helps clarify where you want to go next. Big wins each day. Your bedtime routine matters more than you think. Many waste the precious hour before sleep on smartphones, disrupting their rest. The fix? Ditch the phone at least 30 minutes before bedtime. Instead, grab a pen and paper. Reflect on your day, noting three personal wins. They can be small victories like conquering laundry. Then, plan three wins for tomorrow. This simple shift can improve sleep and set the tone for a productive day ahead. Transform your days and nights with a simple habit. Acknowledge three wins daily and set three goals for tomorrow. This practice shifts your mindset to gain, enhancing confidence and well-being for better sleep. Clear goals help your brain prepare subconsciously, giving you purpose upon waking. By focusing on wins, you train your mind to seek more achievements, building confidence and energy. Crafting your own story Howard Getson faced a life-altering loss of $2 million in the stock market in 2008. But instead of succumbing to despair, he turned the setback into an opportunity for innovation. Getson's engineers developed AI-driven software to navigate dynamic market conditions. That's what psychological flexibility is all about. The ability to handle setbacks by accepting them and finding clever new ways to reach your goals. Now, not everyone starts with this, but the cool thing is you can develop it. Picture it like a fun thought experiment called Experience Transformers, where you grab a pen and paper and answer questions about what you gained, what you do differently next time, and what you're grateful for. This exercise lets you process experiences, giving you the power to create your own story and turn any situation into a win.